They fired one bullet after another, but it didn't feel the slightest. They even used anti-tank weapons, causing part of the body, organs, and blood of 096 to be gone. But it was still able to move forward and destroy the entire team. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today we bring you a SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object SCP-096. SCP-096 is a humanoid creature measuring approximately 2.38 meters in height. SCP-096 shows very little muscle mass, with a preliminary analysis of body mass suggesting mild malnutrition. Arms are grossly out of proportion with the rest of the subject's body, with an approximate length of 1.5 meters each. It has no sign of any body hair, its skin is mostly devoid of pigmentation, and it probably doesn't have pupils either. Other facial features remain similar to an average human, with the exception of the eyes. SCP-096's jaw can open to four times the norm of an average human. It shows no signs of any higher brain functions and is not considered to be sapient. SCP-096 is normally extremely docile, with pressure sensors inside its cell indicating it spends most of the day pacing by the eastern wall, and it doesn't seem to need food. Based on its response, the researchers are determined that 096 is very shy. It tries to stay as far to humans as possible. However, when someone views SCP-096's face, we'll call this person SCP-0961, whether it be directly, via video recording, or even a photograph. It will enter a stage of considerable emotional distress. SCP-096 will cover its face with its hands and begin screaming, crying, and babbling incoherently. Approximately one to two minutes after the viewing, SCP-096 will begin running towards SCP-0961. It moves at 35 kilometers an hour and seems to depend on distance from SCP-0961. If it is very far away, it will be able to run very fast. The actual position of SCP-0961 does not seem to affect SCP-096's response. It seems to have an innate sense of SCP-0961's location. Upon arriving at SCP-0961's location, SCP-096 will proceed to attack and kill SCP-0961. 100% of cases have left no traces of SCP-0961. SCP-096 will then sit down for several minutes before regaining its composure and becoming docile once again. Then the Foundation staff will take it back to the SCP shelter. The most extreme case at present is that someone saw only a part of its picture and was also killed by it. At this point, no known material or method can impede SCP-096's progress. In one of the audio recordings, the former commander of the recovery team said, even if they were firing it intensely, but it didn't feel anything at all. They even used anti-tank weapons, causing part of the body, organs, and blood of 096 to be gone. But it was still able to move forward and destroy the entire team. Besides, because it does not cover its face when it's running towards its target, anyone who sees it will be killed by it along the way. Due to the possibility of a mass chain reaction, including breach of Foundation secrecy and large civilian loss of life, a doctor of the Foundation has also petitioned for immediate termination of SCP-096. The Foundation has carried out several execution experiments, one of which is to send the containment tank containing SCP-096 into SCP-682's cell. SCP-682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin. It has a powerful regeneration ability and adaptability and also has the title of Immortal Body. 
If you want to know more about SCP-682, do click on this video. So back to the execution experiment. The screams of the two entities continue for 27 hours, at which point the noise abruptly stops. Sonar-based video feeds reveal SCP-096 severely wounded and huddled in the southwest corner, apparently upset. Feed shows SCP-682 on the north end of the room, approximately 85% of its initial mass absent. Further attempts to expose SCP-096 to SCP-682 cause it to turn away from 682, jumping in place while clawing at its face and screaming. Because 096 will only attack when people see its face, so the Foundation has long housed it in an airtight steel cube. There are to be absolutely no video surveillance or optical tools of any kind inside SCP-096's cell. Any and all photos, videos, or recordings of SCP-096's likeness are strictly forbidden. But it's said that an abstract painting or its cartoon image is not prohibited because it won't stimulate the emotional distress reaction of 096. SCP-682 begins thrashing violently, emitting several roaring sounds and issuing profanity directed at testing staff. Finally, 682 breaks containment, attack against several agents, staff, and researchers, resulting in 11 deaths and 86 injuries. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Class Object Kita, SCP-682. SCP-682 is one of the most popular in SCP Foundation. 682 is a large, vaguely reptile-like creature of unknown origin, famous for traits that are almost impossible to be destroyed. It appears to be extremely intelligent and was observed to engage in complex communication with other SCP. 682 appears to have a hatred of all life, which has been expressed in several interviews during containment. 682 has always been observed to have extremely high strength, speed, and reflexes, though exact levels vary with its form. Its physical body grows and changes very quickly, growing or decreasing in size as it consumes or sheds material, and can gain energy from anything it ingests, organic or inorganic. 682's regenerative capabilities and resilience are staggering, and it has been seen moving and speaking with its body 87% destroyed or rotted. When being asked why it kills those innocent farmers, it refused to answer at first, but after forced to answer by a doctor, 682 assault one of the personnel, and answer they were, disgusting. Due to the highly aggressive, adaptive, and intelligent nature of 682, termination testing has been ordered by Foundation. The only problem is, the number of termination testing have been conducted close to 100, yet none of them have been success. Among the many execution records, the most classic of which is the attempt to use SCP-409 on 682. 409 is a very dangerous quartz crystal. Any objects coming in contact with 409 will begin to crystallize after three hours. After complete crystallization, the object will bursting into thousands of fragments with great force. Upon exposure, 682's crystallization begins. It shows signs of extreme pain and begins having seizures, but the crystallization stops at 62% conversion with unknown reason. Its crystallized area explodes, causing massive physical trauma to 682. One hour later, 682 recovers from exposure, despite the loss of limbs and organs. It begins regeneration, stating that it will attempt to kill and consume all staff involved in this event. Due to the failure of SCP-409, major concerns raised about possible developed immunities and possible adaptations. All future termination tests must first be carried out on tissue samples taken from 682. In another termination testing, 682 quickly presses against the wall farthest from SCP-173, staring at it the entire time. SCP-173 cannot move while within a direct line of sight. Then once the line of sight is broken, it will move in high speed and attack by snapping the neck of the victim. 682 continues to stare at 173 without pause for six hours. Realize this situation, agents equipped with large caliber sniper rifles dispatch and shoot out the eyes of 682. After resuming observation, 682 is shown to be on the floor with several injuries around its head, neck, and legs. 
it rapidly regenerates from damage and moves to a different wall, developing several sets of eyes on various parts of its body, many covered by thick, clear caps of armored carapace. 682 maintains observation of 173 for an additional 12 hours, despite additional efforts of agents and Foundation staff. At the end, Foundation staff have no other way but to end this testing. Termination testing with SCP-162 has once again proved the exceptional vitality and adaptability of 682. Touching SCP-162 will immediately result in several hooks becoming embedded in the subject's skin. Subject will bleed profusely, resulting in death after a prolonged period of time. 682 exposed to 162. It begins thrashing violently, emitting several roaring sounds and issuing profanity directed at testing staff. After four minutes of continued exposure, 682 lunges away from SCP-162, severing its lower jaw and left hind limb, and causing serious tissue damage to many areas of its body. 682 breaks containment, attack against several agents, staff, and researchers, resulting in 11 deaths and 86 injuries. So we know at this time, no means available to SCP teams are capable of destroying SCP-682, only able to cause massive physical damage. 682 should be contained within chamber filled with hydrochloric acid until it is submerged and incapacitated. 